Welcome back again. Now we're going to do another part of the tutorial, which is creating the construction drawings for the chimney. We're going to create the body of the wall object, creating chimney flues, uh, flu, sorry, and body modifiers, inserting chimney bodies, and showing you how to extract it to the entry level. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Manage tab. Oh, first thing, oh, I have the drawing open, so let's go open the drawing. Entry level. Then we go to the Manage tab, and we're going to go to the Style Manager. We're just going to open up this one over here, and we see we see Entry Level, our, our file. Now we're going to go to our Architectural pop-up, and we're going to go to Wall Cleanup, which is right over here. We're going to go to the Standard one, and we're going to do a copy and paste it on next to each other. So this is Standard 2. From standard two, we're going to go now and modify the name to chimney. Go to chimney right over here. And we're going to press OK. Now we're going to go zoom in to E1 in this corner right over here. We're going to open up the, the content browser, so Control 4. And we're going to go to our walls. So let's go back before I forget. Design tools. Let's go to walls. And let's go back to our design kind of it. <coughs> Sorry. And let's do walls. From here, we're going to go look for brick. And we're going to search in brick right over here. We're going to search brick X. Dash X which is right over here. I don't know why I searched it. It was right over there underneath my face. We're going to go now and we're going to add this one right over here. So add it to our palette. You can even drag it, drop it in. All right, so we're going to go add a brick like so. And we're going to go now and change the width. So we're going to go to our width and put 1 foot 8. Our height, <coughs> we're going to put it 32 foot 10. And our justification, we're going to put it towards the right. We're going to make sure we have our snaps on and our ortho, which is make sure we have straight lines. And we're going to make sure we also have our object tracking, which is F11. So F8 for objects, uh, ortho, sorry, F3 for object snaps, and F11 for the O snaps. So it gives us a line as we're moving along. Now finally we're going to take it, go to the bottom left corner, which is right over here, and we're going to touch it but not click. We're just hovering over this corner over here. We're going to go upward and upward direction until we see until we get to six foot seven. Six foot seven. Good. And once we're there, we're going to click. And we're going to go, <coughs> sorry, upward. Let's just try that again. Sorry about that. Let's go brick X. From this corner, we're just going to go upward. I don't know why my dynamic input is off. Or is it on? It's already on, so I don't know why it's not showing it to me. Let's go up again. Hover up. Oh, we have to choose and change our settings, which I forgot to change. Our width should be 1 foot 8. Our height should be 32 foot 10. And we should go towards the right. So we're going to go from here. We're going to go as close as possible to 3. F I don't know why I can't type it in. Let's say we do offset. Let's do six foot seven. So from here, there we go. Well, no, that's not what I want. I want to start from it. So let's just do it. Make it easier. Just do an X line from here. Offset six foot seven. <coughs> like so, then you could offset again. 
three foot four. And there's our chimney going to be. It's a little bit easier than trying to do what I was trying to do before. So click here. From here, we're going to go up like so. So it's a lot easier just to do the offset and just draw a line that's from here to here, six foot seven, and then three foot four height. If I go check, annotate, three foot four, exactly what I wanted. All right. Now we're going to go use our massing tool. So we're going to go to massing, and we're going to use the box option, which is right over here. And before we click, we're going to go set our specifications. So we're going to say no to on screen, and we're going to go change the numbers. Our width is going to be 10 inches. Our depth is going to be 10 inches. And our height is going to be 30 foot 6. Like you see here. And now we're going to go place it right over here for now. Right over here. Just place it down. <coughs> we're going to do another one now. So once that's done, oops, I didn't I got rid of it. Let's go again. Let's do that one more time. The numbers should be 10 inches. 10 inches, 10 inches, 30 foot 6, <laughs> just click it, there we go, let's add another one which should be 10 inches, but the height's going to change, it's going to be 20 foot 6, so it's going to be a little bit shorter, right over here. And now we have our two components. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the top one and we're going to move it using the midpoint between here and here to the midpoint control right click between here and here. Another way to do it is just make sure that you have your midpoint snaps on. So grab this one, move from this location to this location right over here and they're both in the midpoint. Once we have that done, we're going to move them both in the opposite direction, 5. So this one here, we're going to move it down 5 inches. And this one as well, we're going to move it up 5 inches. Now we have our both our flutes positioned nicely there. For our top one, the top flute, which is going to be right up here, we're going to go make sure that our elevation starts at 2 foot 4. So it's going to be a little bit higher off the ground. And for our second one, which is the for our second one right over here, we're going to change the elevation to 12 foot 4. So again, this one here is going to be at elevation. I didn't put it. 2 foot 4. <coughs> and our uh, next one is going to be up at 12 foot 4. You're going to see why this one changed a little bit different colors. is because it's a little bit higher up than the rest. If I go check the 3D, you see that one of them is going up all the way through and the other one stops from the second floor. So let's go back to the top view, 2D wireframe, and now we're going to go use these subtract objects. So we're going to go click on our, our body, which is this guy here, and we're going to go use a body modifier. So right up here, and we're going to do add. So we're going to go remove one at a time. We're going to go click the first circle right, right here, rectangle, sorry. Press enter. And we're going to say brick veneer. And we're going to subtract it. And we're going to erase it because we don't want to keep the copy of it. And now we have a hole in it. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Click the box. Go to body modifier. Add. Click on this little one. Enter. Brick. Subtract. And erase the component at the end. So it disappeared. But however, if you go look up here, you notice that it's actually right there in the perfect position. So now we have them both set. Let's go back to our top view again. If I don't want to see it, I could change the cut plane right over here. And let's change the cut plane to, to 3 foot 6, which is already there. And we're going to go 1,000 and negative 10. So this is OK, but let's override it. Let's put 19 feet above. 
let's put 17 feet and let's put zero and now you see we see our flutes all the way through okay, if I go back again and c modify our cut range I go it's on the other side sorry and I can change it to 11 feet okay you see now we only see the chimney present nothing else so if we want to go put it back to normal you could go back over here again to our cut plane which is over here and change it back to 10 feet 3 foot 6 and 0 and now it's back to normal so you can always play with the different settings to let it grow back and forth so again let's hit save oh I should have never hit save I should have it's okay I'll delete it afterwards so now that we've done that we're gonna go now and press control 3 which is gonna turn off our tablet and we're gonna press control 5 which is going to open up our project navigator. Now this one's a little bit more trickier. We're going to go on our con constructs like we see here. <coughs> and we're going to grab our chimney. Let's leave it always open. Oops. And drag it into. So I clicked on it and I dragged it into our constructs. Like so. And now here you're going to call it chimney. Under constructs, th this is good. And we're going to make sure it's only showing on the main buildings. And press open editor. Press open like so. And you notice that all we have over here now is our chimney by itself. If I go check the 3D, it's our perfect chimney that we have built on our own nothing else <coughs> now that that's done we're going to save this and we're going to close it good we're going to go back over here now and we're going to go open up our chimney and we're going to go make sure that it says xref overlay and right now we have them on top of each other so we're going to go back here and erase the one that's not the reference. So what I can do right now is I can open up my xrefs. I can take off this one here for now. Unload. I can erase the chimney that we built. Reload it. And now our chimney is in the right position. We can now that we have this, we can click on it. We can override the object display click override and we're going to press OK we're going to make sure that our chimney click on it is set to overlay and again we deleted the other one so now if we look like so you see we have the chimney set but you're going to notice that there's a it starts off with a negative one foot below. So which is okay. So this is good. Now when you're done, hit save and we're done. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that's the one about doing construction drawings for your chimney.